Brendan, huge congratulations. First of all, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. I'm delighted for everyone at the club. Firstly, the players put so much in. We showed that we learned our lessons from last year's semi-final. Uh, thrill for the club, you know, the, the, the board and, and our ownership, who uh, I know has put so much into the club, so to arrive at the final is, is special. And of course, to the supporters, because I've, I've been made fully aware how important this trophy is and how much they would love to win it. And I've always tried to respect their wish and put out a team that can challenge to get to a final. And uh, we now arrive and we now have a, we're one game from creating history. The game itself, how did you assess it? Did it go as expected? Yeah, yeah. I felt that we'd have to defend well in order to, to get through because they, they throw everything at the game. Southampton, they put a lot of risk into the game. And so lots of bodies forward. But we didn't concede a shot on target. So that shows that the team will connect it, defend it well. And then I felt then in the second half, once we started to move the ball a little bit quicker, the space opened up. And then we obviously got um, got the opportunity to, to score. And I felt once the first goal went in, then our confidence increased even more and uh, we could have added to the lead. That goal comes from that man, Kalecci. You must be running out of things to say about the incredible form that he's in. Yeah, yeah, he'll play better in the game. You know, his touch got away from him too many times. Um, but maybe before that would have happened, it would have affected his confidence. But now he's at a level where he allows those mistakes to let them go and now he can just get on with his game. And what he's shown is, whether it's outside the box or inside the box, he's there to score goals. And uh, him and Jamie, the combination was was you know a real, real threat. And uh, yeah, they, uh, they were both, you know, both exceptional for us two huge games to come there against Chelsea that, that potentially will affect the top four, will clearly affect the FA Cup final, two massive games on the horizon. Yeah, yeah, and, but we'll look forward to the final when it comes. I think I said to the players afterwards that uh, whether we won this game or lost this game, there's going to be a huge mental challenge for us now because you get through, it's great, you might only think of the final, but we've got a really exciting number of games now in the league So uh, before the final comes along. so. We'll recover, we'll enjoy this this evening, hopefully the supporters can as well, and then we'll uh, we'll recover and look to get three points on Thursday night. Will it help the league form in some ways because players will be looking to, to be in the team for the cup final? Yeah, I think so. It'll, it'll raise the confidence again. It's a huge achievement for us to get to, uh, to a final, and now we've just got to keep pushing on. You mentioned it right at the start. What does this mean to, to Leicester City as a club to be in an FA Cup final? Well, it's everything, but I want us to win it. You know, I don't want to see the success of just getting to the, the final. You know, uh, we, we've done great. We've shown an attitude to the cup competitions that we want to we want to to arrive in there. But when you arrive there, you want to win. So the success isn't just purely getting to the final. It's amazing. It's going to be a great occasion. Hopefully, there'll be more supporters. Hopefully, there'll be some Leicester supporters in here. Uh, but ultimately, when it comes, we want to win.